The story of the Agricultural Research Organization Volcani Center goes back in time to the year 1921, the year in which one man, Isaac Lazari Vilkansky Volkani, envisioned a revolution in Israeli agriculture. To develop an advanced economy based on scientific research, it is necessary to establish a suitable agricultural experiment station, he said, and began this venture. Whilst field experiments were conducted in Ben Shemen and other areas, offices and laboratories were established in Tel Aviv. The plan was to oversee the research needs of the Jewish settlements with the objective to create original Israeli species by cross-breeding with species from Israel and abroad. Over the years, the Agricultural Research Organization expanded, becoming a leading organization in its field and has developed many research sectors that greatly advanced agriculture in the country and abroad. Today, six research institutes operate at the Volcani Center. Volcani Center is located in Rishon LeZion, with two additional research centers, one in the north, Neveyar, and one in the south, Gilat. In recent years, whilst providing solutions to various problems emerging with the advancement of the agriculture sector in Israel, the Volcani Center successfully deals with emerging global crises such as water shortage, energy crisis, and the food crisis, as well as climate changes. All threaten to harm Israeli and international agricultural productivity. Global warming is a phenomenon that occupies the Israeli agricultural sector. To deal with this phenomenon, innovative methods were developed in Volcani that allow crops to grow under various conditions of extreme heat and arid environments. One method is to develop species adapted to growing under high temperatures and in desert soils. This pomegranate orchard that grows in the hot and arid Arava region did not have a chance to survive under these conditions only a few years ago, but scientists discovered, using molecular tools, what features are required in the DNA of the tree to enable it to grow under these conditions. The olive grove also has been specifically developed to grow under desert conditions, and here too, olive trees are yielding good quality fruit, no less than those grown in the Galilee area. Thousands of acres of orchards are planted each year in the northern Negev. The leading variety is the Or Tangerine that was developed at the Volcani Center and is now Europe's leading variety with exceptional taste qualities. This variety is resistant to diseases, has low amounts of seeds, and peels easily. Indeed, or has become synonymous to Israeli success in agriculture. Many other crops, such as varieties of wheats, grapes, and melons, have also contributed to Israel's fame. Another innovative example for dealing with global warming is the development of colored nets for protection. These colored nets reduce the evaporation rate of water from the plants while selectively filtering sun rays. Different colors affect differently and are thus adapted to the types of crops and their exact needs. For pepper, for example, it was found that pearl or yellow colored nets provide superior protection and drastically improve the crop's quality. Indeed, crops grown under appropriate colored nets substantially extend the shelf life of the product. This innovation improving the produce has provided an economic advantage to Israeli growers. The problem of diminishing sources of fresh water is becoming a global issue, and in Israel, it is especially noticeable. In addition to dwindling water sources, the predicted population increase will, in turn, reflect on the amount of water that will be required to supply consumers and the expanding industrial areas. Farmers who need large amounts of water find it difficult to cope with the shortage. 
Thus, besides the use of desalinated water, the use of treated wastewater or brackish water is a solution that can enable the provision of fresh food. Israel is a leader in wastewater irrigation. About 75% of all of our irrigation uh, water uh, in the country are treated uh, wastewater. Despite of this low quality of the water, the very intensive and integrated research at Volcani Center has facilitated utilization of this water and while still keeping a production quality and quantity to the optimum. A new device developed at the Volcani Center will allow farmers to receive accurate information in real time, transferred electronically to a PC or mobile phone. The device, a plant-based irrigation controller, consists of a transmitter which sends signals to an antenna installed inside the tree trunk. The antenna signals back to a receiver with information on the level of electrical resistance Reductions in the electrical resistance levels indicate a high water shortage. The EC probe helps us control irrigation in agronomic crops. It puts us in the age of irrigation controlling. By using this EC probe, we can save up to 30% in irrigation and fertilization. Actually, this is the only probe exists in the world that helps us to control irrigation in agronomic crops. The Volcani Center has invented tens of patents and visionary developments, many of which have been adopted for use in Israel and in many other countries. The introduction of thermal photography is a worthy example of such a development. A thermal camera is installed on an unmanned aircraft and provides a map of the condition of water intake. The map is incorporated into the irrigation system to ensure that every section in the field is provided with the amount of water necessary. The energy crisis arising from the scarcity of the sources of natural gas is one of the most troubling crises. One approach to deal with the crisis is finding solutions for efficient heating systems in greenhouses during cold winter days. The system developed in Volcani is unique in that it also saves up to 60% fuel, yet it maintains humidity to 80% in the greenhouse, thereby preventing heat damage caused using normal heating systems. Another strategy for dealing with the energy crisis is the development of alternative sources of energy obtained from Jadropa and castor plants. This strategy may provide a significant solution to the emerging crisis. Volcani Center scientists were able to improve and develop growing methods of these plants in such a way that unprecedented commercial biodiesel oil concentrations can be produced. In this project, Volcani Center is cooperating with many countries, including countries in Africa and South America, which have commercial growing capabilities for these crops. My specialty is the plant Jatropha, which is uh, a novel crop. It's non-edible, it's actually poisonous. This is the reason why we chose to work on it, because there's very little competition with the development and the growth of edible crops, both Israel and especially in the world where we expect to grow it. Scientists in the Agricultural Research Organization have discovered effective, original, and environmentally friendly solutions for controlling different types of diseases and various pests that directly damage the quality and the yield of plants. In severe cases, pests and diseases may destroy all the crops in the field. The Volcani Center focuses on reduction in the use of pesticides and development of alternative pest control methods that are not harmful to the environment and to man. One successful example is the development of the Shemer, a product derived from yeast of grapes representing an alternative to the use of chemicals. The yeast produce enzymes that degrade the cell walls of the fungi and enhance the natural defense mechanisms of the plant. The product was proved very efficient against a wide range of different diseases. 
Another example is the use of peppermint oil for preserving potatoes in storage, which replaces the use of chemical substances. These potatoes, for example, were treated with mint oil and they are not sprouting for about nine months. And this solution can be used in developing country, which has problem to build big storage uh, houses which are cooled. So in this case, you can use the mint oil uh, for inhibiting sprouting, even in room temperature. Volcani Center, an institution that has acquired much knowledge concerning food security, sees itself globally responsible. In light of the population growth rate of the world, the amount of food that will be required to sustain consumers in the future will require scientists to provide solutions that will minimize the shortage and provide alternative sources of food. This important issue is tackled through several strategies including the development of new types of crops with higher health values which is expected to provide a solution for millions of people. More and more people around the world base their protein intake on animal sources which is considered a wasteful food source. For every one kilo of beef produced, cows consume 20 kilos of wheat which explains why there is a growing global shortage of grains. At Volcani Center, researchers are focusing on food substitutes for cows that will not compete with the food sources used for human consumption. We have developed a unique feeding system for dairy cows that can utilize up to 35% of their diet byproducts which are not suitable for other animal and for human feeding, such as pomegranate pills, beer pulp, corn pulp. Despite of this unique system of feeding, the Israeli cow is the best cow in the world in milk production. The fisheries industry also receives much attention. As part of the effort to deal with the dwindling fish population in oceans, scientists of the National Center for Mariculture in Eilat have developed effective, cheaper and healthier methods for propagating and breeding fish in ponds. It is estimated that on a global scale, today diseases, weeds and pests reduce agricultural production by 35% on average. An outbreak of serious disease or harmful pests in developing countries could lead to mass starvation. Israel has a potential to become a center of knowledge for solutions to world hunger. In Israel, novelty in agriculture is not only a matter of choice. The Volcani Center is aware of these problems and scientists are working towards providing solutions to remote and underdeveloped countries through international outreach activities. This novelty and the solutions we are developing may form a base for resolution of the upcoming threat of world hunger in world of 9 billion people within the next 30 years. With one step forward and thinking into the future, the Gene Bank, located at the Volcani Center, is responsible for the collection, assemblage, sorting and storing of millions of seeds of many plants in Israel and enables the preservation of extinct species. Beyond collecting, preserving and cataloging of biological diversity, scientists working in the Gene Bank characterize genetic qualities of the seeds to promote and support research for agricultural, medicinal and industrial purposes. This collection is a source in the hand of the research to enable them to improve new crops. And it's not only for Israel, but it's for the human being in all the world, for our generation and for the generation ahead. The Agricultural Research Organization is the leading body of research in open space reserve in the country. Approximately 1 million acres of open spaces is used for cultivation, whilst an additional million is used for grazing cattle and sheep. It is very important for us to preserve our open landscapes. Now we are coping with global warming and hope that using our results of our studies will know better to manage these landscapes.
As part of the global trend to reduce air pollution caused by aviation fuel, more and more agricultural products are now shipped by sea freight. This trend depends on significantly prolonging the shelf life of agricultural produce. Volcani Center scientists are at the forefront in this field in the face of growing demand for quality preservation of agricultural products and their health components. Israel has become an international hub in the field of agriculture. The knowledge accumulated here, especially at the Volcani Center, is disseminated today around the globe through collaborative international research projects, through outreach to farmers, and through international conferences and seminars for scientists, training students, and trainees. These activities are with the sole purpose to expand the world's knowledge in agriculture and continued development. I got an excellent opportunity for Indo-Israel bilateral program to continue my research career in agriculture sciences in Professor Koltai lab. To be in Volcani is a great privilege um, because of the cogen technology that is actually being carried out here. I believe that having this knowledge and working with this equipment, I can use this knowledge to develop the agricultural sector in my country, which is the main aim of actually coming to Volcani in the very first place. The Association of Trustees and Friends has been supporting the Agricultural Research Organization continuously since 1983. One of our purposes is to raise funds to buy uh, equipment for our scientists for expensive research. In addition, the association organizes visits with the aid of retired scientists to show groups the fascinating achievements of Volcani's research activities. Annually, the association awards scholarships and research grants donated by various foundations to students and young scientists. Receiving this uh, scholarship was to me like an encouraging boost saying you have partners for this dream and I think as much as it helped me it can help a lot of other uh, young uh, researchers for the future that want to join this uh, road. Today, we base our future agriculture on scientific infrastructure and research. The Science-Oriented Youth Project provides programs for excellent high school students, thus nurturing future scholars for Israel in the agricultural sciences. The Agricultural Research Organization also operates a special project for underprivileged youth. Agriculture serves as a therapeutic tool for these boys and girls. This project is made possible with the generous help of the Association of Trustees and Friends in funding projects of this kind. The Volcani Center has over the years steered its activities to significantly improve the quality of agricultural products that we know and love today. The varieties of products offered to consumers are better than ever. These products are the fruit of very complex studies by the best of the minds. Despite the great competitiveness, diminishing agricultural resources, and geographical remoteness of Israel's leading markets, scientists are finding innovative solutions that make Israeli products synonymous with quality. Many challenges await future generations. The long-term vision, innovation and creativity that exist at the Volcani Center are driving us today to find solutions for agriculture, thus making the State of Israel a leader in the entire world. Mm -hmm.